Hey folks, Steve Tobin, Sports Music Cars, and we're talking about on the podcast today is Jeep has revealed the pricing and specs of its first ever electric vehicle, the Sleek Electric Wagoneer S. So this is the uh, New York Auto Show where uh, a couple of car car companies went and they get to see a first peek at it. There hasn't been any road tests or anything like that. So it says Jeep has revealed its first EV, the Wagoneer S. Yeah. It's a sleeker design than the gas part SUV. SUV will go on sale this fall with the starting price of $71,995. So this is obviously um, an, a, um, an EV SUV that is a luxury type, right? And it will do 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds with well over 600 horsepower. So this is going to be more like for the high-end suburbanite soccer mom, soccer dad, needs to haul their kids around and get groceries and stuff in, in style and, and be very, very costly. Um, by the pictures that we've seen, like this picture right here, it looks to me kind of like a Range Rover. I got a friend of mine who sells Range Rovers for a living, and they always seem to be kind of heavy on the bottom, light on the top, and have lots of glass in here. So I'd be wondering about um, how these things do in like rollovers, how they handle, you know, off-roading type of situations, how is it going to handle bumps and mountains and all those type of things. But luxury SUVs, maybe all we're doing with this thing here, people, is we're just living the life in suburbia. And then it shows a picture of the Macintosh entertainment system. Maybe all this is doing here is in the, drive, the five drive modes here and you have the sunroof. You know, may, maybe what we're doing with luxury SUVs that have 600 horsepower and reach 60 in, um, you know, three and a half seconds and go 300 miles in a single charge. Maybe we're just talking about just cruising, right? Just cruising a nice cushy ride. And but we're gonna, we'll have to see. What happens when this car actually does go on sale if they give it to the to the testing companies, you know, like uh, Motor Trend and whatever, you know, see if anybody goes ahead and actually tests this thing off road. If I buy an SUV, it doesn't have to go to zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds, people. If it do zero to 60 in 5.4 seconds, that'd be fine. Well, I want to know how is it going to handle off road, right? You want to go camping, you want to go canoeing, you want to bring the stuff in, you want to put everything in, you put your paddle boards in there, your kayaks and and that's to me what you use SUVs for. But I'm kind of old school. If I want something luxury, I don't know if I go for an SUV. But maybe an SUV is the way to go luxury as long as it's good for off road, right? That's really what matters. So we'll see. But again, Wagoneer S on sale this year, seventy two thousand dollars. But you get a seventy five hundred dollar IRS credit. So maybe they pay that they pay that up front. That will cut down the cost at least a little bit on that. And uh, six hundred horsepower, zero to sixty three and a half seconds. I don't see any specs about the um, the wheelbase or the ride height. It doesn't look like it has an incredible ride height. And this version right here, we're seeing from this picture here, that looks like the Range Rover. Look, those look to me, guys. Those look like at least twenty ones, right? Yeah, those look like twenty ones right there. Those are pretty big tires. Usually, when you get twenty ones with low profiles, that's eh, not really going to work out so well. You go off roading, go off roading. You actually want to have some sidewall a little bit there to uh, begin the things and. If you have a sidewall at this low, pretty much you're going to totally destroy those rooms. Those rooms are probably 15 bucks a piece. So we'll see, people. So uh, anyway, that is the news for the day. Jeep has revealed the Wagoneer S. And, you know, we will see. 72 grand. It's a lot of money, people. Again, Steve Tobin, cars, sports, music. Thanks for listening.